brewers know. With a few exceptions, all that beer you've been drinking through the years can be divided into two beer styles. What might they be called? Ale and lager. Ale and lager. Someone's awake this morning. <laughs> Very good. Well, the difference? Lagers use a cold fermenting yeast. The beer ferments about 50, 52 degrees. You get a very crisp and clean style of beer as a result of this very long, slow fermentation. Think Anheuser Busch, Coors, Miller, Yingling, Corona, Pat's Blue Ribbon, all examples of lagers. 1,600 craft and micro brewers in the U.S., most of which make ale. Ales use a warm fermenting yeast. The beer technically a hot fermenting yeast. Um, the beer ferments at about 65 degrees. As a result of this much faster fermentation, you get a fruity, full-body beer. Both beer styles use the same four ingredients. Water, malted barley, hop, yeast. For water, we use on-site wells. We do not use municipal water with chlorine. Second ingredient, hops, and I'll pass these around. These are warrior. Very aromatic. What are hops? Hops look like a small pine cone. They grow on tall vines. Domestically, mostly around Yakima, Washington. These vines are 25, 30 foot tall. Mechanically harvested, milled down, extruded through dyes, look just like bunny pellets. Put in aluminum bags on nitrogen, shrink wrap. 44 pound boxes, that's what's behind you. Hop Union is the largest producer of hops domestically. Well, why do we use hops? When they're put in the boil kettle at the beginning of the boil, those are for bitterness. They balance the sugar that you would normally taste in what would otherwise be a sweet beer. 20 minutes from the end of the boil when they're added, those added, those provide flavor. When the heat's turned off and hops are added, those are for a, a, a aroma. Excuse me, bitterness, flavor, aroma. Finally, hops are a natural preservative. Third ingredient, malted barley. Nothing more than raw barley drenched in water. It's allowed to germinate, at which time to stop that germination. It's roasted. This is base malt, the basis of all beer. 99 to 100% of the grain bill. The lightest roasted barley, but as a result, it has the most sugar. And it's this simple. More sugar, more alcohol. Want to make a higher alcohol beer? More base malt. We go through 20 tons of this a day. Large white silos in back. Make a darker beer, you just use specialty grains that have been left in the oven longer. And there are dozens of colors between these two. 50 pound stacks, that's all you need of the specialty grains that are behind you. All this barley drops through a grist mill, cracking it open, augered up into a white weight scale here. We get the right amount of pounds of barley. We start augering it up. Second floor on the right, mash tun. In front of it, we're putting in part of this $6 million, we're putting in a new wet mill. This will allow us, the grain will be wetted, wet first, It'll allow us to speed up the mashing process. Mash done, second floor on the right. As that barley's dropping in, we mix hot water on top of it. Large stainless steel paddles mixes this mash until it looks just like thin oatmeal. It's very starchy. But by cracking the barley open, we expose enzymes. The enzymes convert, called conversion, the starch to sugar only takes 40 minutes. We then transfer that sweet, sticky mash to a water tun. You partially obstruct it to the left. Water is German for to separate. The bottom is shaped just like a colander. It has thousands of slits in it. The bottom is called the false bottom. That allows us to get to a sweet, fermentable liquid called wort. The wort drains through, all the while we're sparging or spraying hot water over the top. Rinse most of that sugar off. 
pump the wort out of the bottom into a boil kettle behind the tower you don't see. Boiling the wort, we sterilize it. Now we add the hops at the beginning for bitterness, near the end, flavor, at the end, aroma.